Both Fear the Walking Dead and The Strain deal with society unraveling in the face of supernatural threats. But the new seasons of the AMC and FX shows illustrate how two programs can take similar concepts and go in wildly different creative directions. Where FX's The Strain is good, pulpy fun, AMC's The Walking Dead spinoff continues to plod along like a zombie. We're not gonna make it. So despite the constant threat baked into the format, the show actually manages to be boring because there's such a marginal investment in the characters and who lives or dies. As a result, the series feels like little more than a placeholder for its more popular sire. Just screwing with the wrong people. By contrast, The Strain dives into its third season with new alliances and additional mythology. New York has basically been left to fend for itself amid an outbreak of vampires, or the Strigoi, led by an ancient evil known as the Master. In addition, the vampires appear to be evolving in ways that make them more dangerous. Engage. As with most science fiction, both series tap into fears with real-world undertones, specifically the scary prospect of pandemics. It's just that here, the outbreaks run around on two feet. Still, if the two shows share concerns about viruses, strictly in TV terms, there's only one of them that's worth catching. Brian Lowry, CNN.